Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I am here with my third and final birthday unboxing. This year I've opted to split up the unboxings because that will make them shorter, but also allow me to start using them. Um, I actually did just come back from Kauai. There will be a vlog of my time in Kauai that I've kind of <laughs> taken small bits of photos and clips here and there to compile it for you. I know the previous year when I went to Maui, you guys liked my vacation vlog. So hopefully if you, are thinking about Kauai or if you've never been there before, the video will give you a good idea what you can do in the three to four days that you're there, the places to go see, the hikes, you know, the beaches, the food. So yeah, if you're interested, stay tuned, subscribe. I hope to get that out soon, but vlogs generally take me a little bit because I need to like pull them from my phone and from my camera and yeah. So anyway, I am back. I am doing my birthday unboxing that I've gotten since I have gone and came back from Hawaii. So here they are. Um, I am very thankful for all of these gifts. My sister and her partner did contribute to these gifts here. So I very much wanna thank them for their thoughtfulness. They know how much I like travel, fashion and luxury. So a hint, hint, that's probably what this is going to be about. So actually, let me just get started here. These boxes um, have not been opened, so I have no idea what they look like. I do know what it is because I did pick it out, but hopefully it survived <laughs> the travel because there's a lot of little signs that says turn like this way up and then like there's like don't cut. And then I, of course I found the box all turned upside down already. So I'm like, hopefully it's fine inside. But yeah, let's get right into it and then we can talk more. I have cut it open. It's cut out of frame, it's out of frame. There we go. That's how big it is. This is what it looks like. So any guesses? Oh my God, it's so heavy. <laughs> da, 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 da. It is from Remova. And oh my gosh. Okay, so I have always wanted a Remova suitcase, but they are so expensive. And be, you know, the last few years we have not, well, actually that's not true. We have been traveling the last few years, but it's been very haphazardly planned and sort of like, we don't know if we get to go. So I didn't really want to invest in another suitcase. I do have many suitcases and I know some of you have asked me to do reviews of them. So I think I will now that, you know, I've gone on a few more trips, I'll compare and contrast the different suitcases and what they're good for. So anyway, this one though, it's like my holy grail suitcase and I have so many times wanted to pull the trigger but I didn't I always got something else but this time I was like you know what let's do it and like I said my sister and her partner decided to pitch in for it so thank you so much this one is very expensive but I'm so excited I think from all the suitcase that I've been using I know that I can get my money's worth so um anyway Let's just get right into it. I don't know if you can guess which one I picked. They have so many different kinds um, and they've come up with like new colors and everything, but I went for the classic. This is their classic cabin. And oh my gosh, can you see it? Oh, it's beautiful. I have to do some close up shots because I, yeah, it's not gonna fit into the frame, but this is so beautiful. I, uh, <laughs> this is a full aluminum suitcase. It does have two leather handles right here and right here. This is the plastic black part and the wheels are what they're really known for. They're very quiet. I don't even can, you can't even hear them turning, but they're very quiet and very smooth. I've heard that this one will run away from you, even on like a slightly slanted surface. <laughs> so I gotta watch after this. Um, but I love that it does not have any zippers. It keeps it very safe. It keeps your belongings very safe. It will get dinged up. I know that with all aluminum suitcases, but yeah, I can um, also customize the handles to a different color. Same with the wheels. I don't plan to do that anytime soon, but it's on my mind. <laughs> and yeah, so it's very subtle. There's just a small Remova um, branding right here. And yeah, this is in the aluminum silver color. They also come in a, I think a black color. And occasionally they have limited edition colors, but I have heard that scratches on those colored ones will reveal a aluminum under uh, color. So I just opted for this one, which is fine because I will 
I could see myself putting some cute stickers on there for traveling and everything. So anyway, I will pop this open and do some close up for you. This suitcase, like I said, is one of their more expensive ones because it is original. It's a classic. Actually, they have an original line also. I was debating between the original cabin and the classic cabin. The original cabin has this really pretty titanium color, which is kind of like a beigey metallic. I loved it, but I don't know, something just called my name with the classic look. If you don't like these handles sticking out, um, you can get the original, which is uh, one that closes down, so it flaps down, and that one does also come in black. So again, for other people who may not like this look, that is an option. Remova has since come out with polycarbonate, which has the look of like these striped looks. This is actually the look that they copied from airplanes, so that's their original like design. But since then, they have moved away from aluminum and have options for polycarbonate and um, they're much lighter, of course, and it's another option and it's slightly less expensive. So I will pop this in the description box below to show you. I don't even know if you can see this. It's so beautiful. TSA locks right there. Oh, I can't wait to bring this on my next trip. So. Thank you so much. The second item that is sitting right here is also out of frame a little bit, but here is the box. Just open it really quick. This item, glad you stayed here for this piece because this is a great find. This is actually not on sale, but it is 40% cheaper than all the other sites that are out there. I do not know why, um, but when I saw it, I was pleasantly surprised. So I thought I'd share it with you as soon as I can. So again, this one came in a few days ago. So let me open this. There we go. Oh, okay. This is a box and it is from the 24S uh, company brand department store. It's a department store in France, which I've purchased from before, if you've been here before. But yes, they always have these really cool designs and underneath is the item. So let me just grab that out. Oh, and here's the receipt. Oh, it actually has the Fendi um, logo. So I, I think this one actually shipped straight from Fendi. So uh, that's why they're, they came in two boxes. So let me just grab this. There's a lot of other tissue paper down there. Let me see if there's anything else. Just make sure. Nope, that's it. <laughs> okay, so this is the second item and a very good find. So are you ready? Ooh, I like that it came in the Fendi box. It's a magnetic closure. Any guesses to what this could be? How cute. So this, oh my God, this is a little strap that it comes with. And here is it in the dust bag. Here's the box. Oh, this is one of those collapsible ones. I love those because like when I travel and bring things back, I can like squish them down. Anyway, okay, so here is the leather strap. It is a handbag. It is travel related. Okay, so there's a security tag here to reveal a mini suitcase. How cute is this? It is actually a little smaller than I had anticipated. When I looked online, it looked a little bigger, but honestly, this is the perfect size for me because I am quite short. I'm only 5'1". So this is a mini suitcase. I don't know if you can see. It has a little top handle, just like the suitcase, as you can see. It also has a, a kind of a side. You can't hold on to it, um, but it does have these side hooks. Um, so I'll show you later with the strap and that's where it hooks in. But yeah, um, it even has little four little feet, like suitcase wheels. So cute. I love that it has the Fendi FF print in the canvas and here's the back. And so it even has those little leather corners right there. And the front pocket, which is a slip pocket. Let me open it. Is quite tiny. Um, oh, there is... It looks like there is an authenticity card and some information about what this is. This is actually called the travel mini bag and this is in the Jacquard um, 
micro FF. So in case you were interested, I'll also pop this link in the description below. They, uh, this one also does come in all black leather, yellow leather and all red leather, but I opted for the canvas because I have nothing like this in my collection. Let's test to see if the, my phone will fit in here. It will, but it kind of sticks up like this. So um, if you have a bigger phone, it probably still will fit because you know there's still a little bit of space, but it, yeah, it'll definitely pop out of this pocket. I think this one's better for like your card, something that you need to get quick access to. But yeah, otherwise I'd say probably not for your phone, unless it's like you just wanted to easy access to it. And let's open the main compartment. There we go. Wow, it opens quite low as you can see all the way down here and it opens up like this in the front. So let me just take out the stuffing. All right, so it's really hard to see because it's all black. So I'm gonna try to angle it in such a way <laughs> where maybe you can see it, but it has these gusseted sides right here so that the, the flap doesn't come all the way out, but you can extend it quite far out so you can reach inside easily. The inside is a cotton fabric material, so it makes it very light. Actually, this is actually a very light bag because of that. And um, it is lined with this black cotton material and there's no pockets or any slip pockets, zip pockets, anything. There is a small logo in the back here. Let's see if you can see that. And that says uh, Fendi made in Italy. So that's just what it says. And uh, underneath it, there is a a code. So I, I can't read it because it's so small, but um, that's, that's just, you know, their information product code. How beautiful is this? I like I said, I love traveling. I, so this suitcase is like the perfect little addition to my handbag collection. And I, of course I have nothing, you know, like it. So let me show you this with the strap. I love that even though I picked the uh, kind of canvas material, uh, it does still come with a leather crossbody strap, or I guess maybe Let's see, let's see if it's, for me it's probably crossbody. It does come with two straps pieces. Um, there's a hook on one of these sides and then a buckle. So what you'll do is thread this through here and then you can adjust the holes. So there's actually quite a bit. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. Um, so it you can adjust it quite a bit and you pull it through like this and then there is a uh, leather loop right here so that it won't flap around. You can adjust it so that it's like that. And then on, of course, on this other side, there is also a hook. Now this hook does hook to the top of this bag, like so, let me just show you. Okay, so as you can see, if it's hooked onto the top of the strap, you can wear it like so. Sorry about the tag. <laughs> there we go. Um, so you can see that it fits really nicely. And then if you want it to get something, you can really easily reach in. Um, so that's what it looks like. But you can, if let's say you don't want to hook it to the top of the bag, uh, you can hook it to the side right here. So there is a small hook right here. There we go. So now it is hooked to the side, which I think is probably more stable because it's like it help holds it in like that. Um, if I wanted to make it longer so that I could wear a crossbody, I can. So let me just do that really quick. Put it to a different hole. This leather strap, by the way, is very smooth. I don't know if you can see that it's very smooth, very um, high quality Italian leather. And um, yeah, so here we go. This is crossbody on me. Um, uh, of course, you can still make it longer. I, I just know that this is the right length for me. And so again, if you wanna get into the bag, you can easily get in like that. So yep. <laughs> very easy and very lightweight. This is um this leather strap is also thicker than most that I have, which is great without being like the guitar straps. Now the final way that I can show you is I don't know why this is the case. They have 
they have this, but I don't know why I would carry it this way because then your stuff will fall out on the side. But yeah, you can carry it like that, I suppose. Actually, I wonder, okay, just playing around with it. So now I have it hooked on this side and this. So I think if you did it that way, it becomes more of a sling. Yeah, so it becomes more of a, a sling bag. So I, I'm gonna probably make it shorter if I wanted to have that, but I just thought this was so cute. So guys, ready for the price. This one normally retails for $13.50 US dollars. And I have seen it actually higher at other stores like $14.50 or something like that. But I got this one for only $810. That is amazing. And I also got um, free shipping. This shipped straight from Fendi. And yeah, so it's, I don't know. I don't know why that, you know, uh, this department store is selling it for that much less than the other ones, but I think it's like, maybe it's a glitch. If it is, I will suggest you to quickly jump on it and grab one of these. Again, there is a leather version. Um, there are actually three leather versions, the bl all black leather version. There is a red and a yellow. They all cost $810 for US dollars. So for a Fendi bag, straight from Fendi, at least the one that I got came from straight from Fendi, comes with even the little box. Um, and this leather strap, you can totally use it for other bags, you know, um, because it's so adjustable. I love the two piece. It actually reminds me a lot of the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier, um, where the strap is actually that one's in three pieces, but yeah, this one is much shorter. So it's in two pieces. So, um, yeah, I think it's a great find. I do want to mention that this bag is actually in the men's section. And I honestly can't tell what is so like, I think it's, it's good for any gender. Uh, so I, Anyway, I just want to point that out, but that's probably why I haven't seen many videos on this because it's kind of hidden. So I wanted to share it with you um, because, ugh, summer travel, here we come. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I am so happy this month for everything that I've gotten for all the birthday wishes that I've gotten. I will link both of these items below if they're still available. Oh, also I want to point out that I am getting another suitcase soon. It is in collaboration with another company, but it is also an aluminum case. So I'm going to compare it with this one. So for all of you who are looking for an aluminum suitcase or you're looking for a suitcase and you don't know if, you know, aluminum is right for you, I will be unboxing another suitcase that is aluminum and I'll be testing it out in the next few months because I'll be traveling a little bit and let you know because that one is actually a lot more affordable so if they are good that one might be the answer to this whole thing of course if you are still interested in Remova I will do an updated review video of this once I get a few more wares uh, just because that's one of the biggest questions is like how does it wear so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned, subscribe. There will be a vlog coming. There will be lots of other unboxings coming soon. So very excited. I hope to see you back. Bye.